KO, first round of the WWE Universal Title Tournament. Let's do this. Seriously? Are you literally the most desperate superstar on Raw? I'm just saying. Oh, KO, I'm so excited to fight you. What the hell have you ever done to even deserve being in the same room as the WWE Universal Championship? You want to know what I've done to get here? It was a rhetorical question. What you've done is take the opportunity to showcase your craft on the biggest stage in the world and flush it right down the toilet. You've been over on Raw for what, two years now? And most of the WWE Universe doesn't even know your name. All you are is some charity project for Regal. I'm nobody's project. Half right. You're definitely a nobody. See you out there. There he is. Great match with Dominic out there. Regal made the right call opening that last slot up. We're in the opposite bracket, but I'm kind of hoping you make it to the final. Real Cinderella story. Is that like some kind of reverse psychology mind game? Hell no. You make it to the final, I'm aiming to beat you just like I was going to beat Reigns. Is that right? Hope you make it to the finals with some nice, short, easy matches on the way. I want everyone to know I beat you at your best. That's the spirit. Good luck tonight, brother. Same to you. I'll see you in the main event in a few hours. He's back again to compete in the championship tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The Dark Horse! No disrespect to Dominic Mysterio, but the competition levels up a bit here with Kevin Owens. Yeah, it's one thing to take on KO fresh, but after already competing tonight, good luck. KO's opponent to make it into the WWE Universal Championship Tournament, but here he is. What do you think is going through his mind right now? The jerk in the curtain at SummerSlam is as close to the undisputed WWE Universal title as he's ever going to get. KO's about to turn Cinderella back into a pumpkin. Pretty sure that's the carriage, Corey. The odds might favor Kevin Owens, but we've already seen this man has brought his A game tonight. Ooh. Look at this. Northern Lights. That had to have taken an incredible amount of leverage to pull off on someone so much bigger. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Great wherewithal on the counter. Just a step ahead of Owens. Brute pooped. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Stop in the leg. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens just can't find any breathing room. Oh, stop with the stop with the stop, jeez. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. If this works, it could change the course of the match. Here we go. Diving foot stop to the chest. Oh, Owens 
at the mercy of his opponent. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Owens into the ropes, but KO holds on. Kick to the gut. Stunner! Stunner! This one's over. One, Why the heck would he do that? I'll tell you why, Saxton. Kevin Owens is making a statement. This statement could cost Owens the WWE Universal Championship. KO needs to take the W. He's wasting time. It's not a waste of time. Everyone in this tournament is watching, and they see KO beating a guy so bad he can't stand up. Is he setting him up for another stunner? Wait, small package. One, two, three. He got him. KO had it won, but his arrogance got the better of him. I don't buy it, Saxton. Let me see a replay. KO's taking it out of the referee. And another stutter from Owens. He might have won the match, but did this guy ever lose the war? Just a total meltdown from KO here tonight. And as a result of KO's meltdown, I'm not even sure his opponent's going to make it to his next match. I'm about to go live with a hit for the bump, and you are the guy everyone is talking about tonight. You got a quick sec? You got a bag of ice? Um, no. That is a bummer. But chatting with you is not. What do you want to know? You really came out of nowhere tonight with a couple of big wins that have you in the hunt for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. But I have to ask, is your performance tonight a fluke? I'm sorry? A fluke? I don't mean any offense, it's just... Your record hasn't exactly been at the WWE Universal Championship level since you got here. The only fluke is that I've been out here busting my butt for two years and it's taken them this long to give me the opportunity. What the WWE Universe is seeing is not a fluke. It's a guy telling each and every one of them, and you, it's about damn time. You did just take two stunners and win with a small package. That's not a fluke, Kayla. I call it strategy. I beat KO by outthinking KO. That sounds pretty egotistical coming from a guy who's about to face Braun Strowman in the semi-final match. The monster among men is going to do exactly what you and the rest of the WWE Universe are doing. Underestimating me. And that's why... I'm fixing to win it all. Give him that on the bump. Somehow he keeps surviving. It's the Dark Horse. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The Dark Horse! He's already strung together two victories tonight. Why not make it three? Why not? Because he's facing Braun Strowman. I don't think I need to say anything else. If this is it for the Dark Horse, he's had a good run. Here comes six foot eight, 385 pounds of chaos. And his opponent from Sheryls Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Strowman! I'll tell you this much, the monster of all monsters is more than just a nickname. This monster has stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with every giant in WWE and slain them all.
Guys, you are really beginning to see the wear and tear on the dark horse of the tournament. Despite the result, KO beat the hell out of him. And now he's walking into a fight with a genuine monster in Braun Strowman. That'll turn around, take the count out loss, and call it a night. Not happening, Corey. We saw it with Dominic Mysterio on the kickoff show, and we saw it with Kevin Owens in our opening match tonight. This man will not quit. Big boot over the top and hit the floor hard. Well, that's one way to seize control of a match. Change the location, no way. Oh. Somersault plunge out of the floor. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. Whip back into the ring. Heading up, he's thinking big. From the top, and nobody's there. Saw that coming. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Wow, Strowman's big. Uh-oh, could it be? Take down this there. This is it. He's able to kick out before two. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Stiff kick. Oof. That kick will stop you in your tracks. He saw that one coming. Put it in position now. Piercing the throat. The monster of all monsters turning his gaze towards the crowd. Strowman able to get out of the way. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Oh, right in there. Running knee lift. Big forearm. Oh, and a reversal. Gonna hurt. He's just getting beaten on all fronts here. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. Monsters don't impart much fear when they're in this position. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Re-entering the ring now. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Up to the top rope now. From the top. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. And the forearm smash. Now Strowman feeling the pressure. Ron is being completely neutralized. Up into the torture rack. Pow! That can be Strowman's demise. Shoulders down. Somehow, he has survived three matches and will advance to compete in the tournament finals against none other than Cody Rhodes. Just advancing as far as a huge accomplishment, but I'm sure the Dark Horse isn't satisfied yet.